Hey, remember that time that Elijah made fun of the priests of the false god Baal and asked him whether or not their god was out taking a leak because he couldn't light something on fire? I mean, that, that's funny. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm always uh, here for the, the jokes about toilets. Um, but, but really, so there was this time that I Elijah uh, confronted the prophets of, of Baal and uh, said, you know what, if, if we're going to see whose God is real, because you can't have it both ways, each of us get a bull, you do what you need to, we'll do what we need to, and we'll see which one catches on fire. And so the, the priests of Baal, they lay out the wood, they set the bull on it, they, they pray, they cut themselves, they go all crazy, and nothing happens. And so Elijah, he, you know, he says, where's your God? Is he sleeping? Is he, is he out taking a leak? Like, what's going on here? Uh, but then uh, we sort of lose sight of the really cool part because you know toilet humor and uh, fire which is sort of anything that I want in a story but um, <laughs> Elijah um, as he he stacks the the bull on the altar first he repairs the altar of the Lord uh, that the right place where God uh, would offer sacrifice and he he lays around it 12 stones for the 12 tribes of Israel and he names the stones Israel it's a it's a call back to the promise that God has made Abraham for his for his offspring but but also a, a recognition that that which has been broken by politics the two kingdoms really is only ever rooted in one promise in one Lord one one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Because the next thing that he does is he digs trenches all around the altar and he pours water on it. He, he adds water to the promises of God and then the bull burns. Um, it, it's, it's a recognition, not simply that our God is more powerful than any other God. It's true. Uh, that, that our God is real and the other gods are, are either not real or, or not well, salvific, which is true. Um, but but here's the thing. Uh, it, it's what God is trying to accomplish with his word that matters. Because like, uh, I've yet to light a bull on fire at the baptismal font. Um, maybe it's just because I, I haven't made enough toilet jokes, at least in the church. But uh, really, I, I think it's that, that, well, what God intends, he accomplishes. Uh, in, in this particular story, he wanted a, a confession of his, his holy name to, to be made to, uh, to King Ahab and, and to all of the false priests and, and all of the people who had, had tried to both worship God and false gods. Uh, but, but at the font, what he wants is actually more powerful than a bull catching on fire. Uh, I can do that in my grill. Uh, he wants to save you. He, he saves you by calling uh, down water and a, a remembrance of his promise to, to Abraham that is recognized in you, member of the, 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 the children of Abraham that are greater than the stars in the sky, greater than the, the grains of sand on a beach. Uh, what God works through his word and through water is utterly miraculous. And if all you want to do is sort of make fun, uh, you miss sight of it. Uh, I'm, I'm all for both. But here's the thing. God in his word, by joining it to water, has worked a, a greater miracle than lighting a bull on fire. He has called you out of death to life everlasting. And it is every bit as bold, every bit as wonderful, every bit as as different than every other religion in the world that that can't actually save. So uh, thanks be to God for his mighty word.